ever-expanding garbage dumps are causing problems all over the world. The easiest way to dispose of one's garbage is to have it taken to a landfill. However, when untreated waste is disposed of in this way, it causes a variety of problems. For example, explosive landfill gas can accumulate with accompanying unpleasant smells. Birds, rats and vermin are attracted and carry diseases. And groundwater and drinking water are contaminated by the percolation of chait. One relatively inexpensive and uncomplicated way to eliminate such problems is to introduce mechanical biological waste treatment methods. Mechanical biological waste treatment is one of various waste treatment processes presently in use in Germany. The process is centered around the biological pretreatment of waste. There is no one single process as such, but rather a broad spectrum of relevant equipment and manners of treatment. Individual stages of waste treatment can be combined and integrated as required to meet the frame conditions and objectives of the specific situation. Basically, the process comprises four main stages. Waste input and control, mechanical conditioning of the waste, including separation of recyclables, pollutants and interfering objects in preparation for the biological stage, extensive decomposition of organic content in the biological treatment stage, and, finally, depositing of the pretreated waste at the landfill using compactors. The incoming waste is first registered and weighed. Waste intended for further treatment can be delivered directly to the open landfill. This outdoor receiving point is inexpensive and uncomplicated. Further processing of the waste can take place right here. An indoor receiving point offers the advantage of minimizing odorous emissions, keeping out animals, and stopping the uncontrolled scatter of paper and plastic around the area during the disposal process. An indoor receiving point is complex and comparatively expensive. An initial visual inspection of the inputs includes the manual or mechanical removal of interfering objects and pollutants. Large interfering objects are removed to prevent them from damaging the downstream equipment. Household and commercial waste containing large quantities of biodegradable organic material is particularly suitable for treatment. Industrial and commercial waste containing pollutants is unsuitable for treatment. Lumpy pieces are crushed prior to further treatment. This low-speed crushing roller unit is effective in reducing the size of bulky material. The pre-classified, pre-comminuted waste is then forwarded for mechanical conditioning. Mechanical conditioning prepares the waste for the biological stage by separating the biodegradable material from the non-biodegradable material. Whether or not further comminution will be necessary depends on the respective characteristics of the waste. The next step is to sort the waste. Manual sorting along a conveyor belt is one possibility. Large sheets of plastic, paper, metal and other recyclables can be recovered by careful examination of the waste flow. 
Bags of waste are easy to open and sort through. This kind of manual sorting can also be done directly at the landfill. In Germany, most mechanical sorting is accomplished in screening drums. Drums with various sized holes can be used to screen off waste fractions on the basis of particle size. The screen residue can be put through a crusher and then return for another screening. If the waste contains lots of metal, magnets can be used to extract it. Homogenization, as the last step of mechanical conditioning, can be carried out in a mixer, the method used most in Germany. Pre-treated waste is mixed into a uniform blend. Processed water from the biological treatment stage can be added to optimize the waste's moisture content. The waste is now optimally prepared for biological treatment. The purpose of biological treatment is to break down the organic substance before the waste is placed in the landfill. One cost-effective method that is quite popular in Germany is heat composting. Composting requires a continuous supply of oxygen and a constant moisture level. This process can be carried out in outdoor, non-mobile composting heaps directly at the landfill. A bottom layer of structured material, for instance consisting of shredded wood, helps maintain an optimal supply of oxygen. Alternatively, a layer of pallets can also ensure a good supply of air to the bottom of the heap. These heaps are piled to a height of about two and a half meters. The length and width of the heaps can be chosen to fit the available space. A wheel loader is used for building up the heaps. The composting heaps are passively ventilated with the aid of suitable elements like these drain pipes. The ventilating elements, or aerators, are installed successively as the heaps grow in height. Finally, the heaps are covered with a roughly 50 cm thick layer of special biofiltration material in the form of screened waste from the mechanical biological treatment stage. The main function of the biofilter is to significantly reduce the odorous emissions from the biological decomposition process. It also keeps birds and vermin away and prevents the wind from scattering paper and plastic. The heaps require watering during dry spells, as insufficient moisture would interrupt the biological decomposition process in the heap. The decaying material is supplied with oxygen through the ventilation elements at the base of the heap. Due to their chimney effect, they automatically draw in a steady supply of fresh air. Aerator domes provide an effective, simple and inexpensive alternative means